Hi friends, today we will study plant life. We know all living things reproduce. Similarly, plants also reproduce and they reproduce in many ways. Flowering plants reproduce from seeds. Ferns, mushrooms reproduce from spores. While some plants reproduce from leaves, stems and roots. Potato and ginger are underground stems. We have seen in our kitchen that shoots emerges from potatoes and gingers. Potato has several small buds on it, called as eyes. New plants grow from these buds. Ginger too grow from buds. Onion is a bulb shaped underground stem from which new plants grow. Sometimes plants are grown from pieces of stem which have one or two buds on them and are called as stem cuttings. Example, rose plant, sugar cane, etc. Strawberry plants have long stems that run along the ground, called as runners, and new plants grow on these runners. Some plants like bryophyllum has thick fleshy leaves which has buds along its edges, and new plants grow from these buds. Plants like sweet potato produce new plants from roots. Most of plants grow from seeds. Seeds are usually found inside fruits. And seeds have different shapes and sizes. New plants grow when seeds fall on the soil. If we take a bean seed, we see it is hard and dry. If we soak it overnight, it becomes softer and swollen because the seeds absorb water. A thick outer covering of a seed is called as a seed coat. There is a scar on one side of seed. This is where seed was attached to fruit. Above scar, there is a small hole from where water is absorbed. Now, when we carefully remove the seed coat, we will see this seed has two seed leaves called as cotyledons. Between cotyledons, there is a baby plant called the embryo. Embryo has a baby shoot and baby root. The seed leaves protect the baby plants and also stores food for them. When seeds get enough water, air and warmth, they grow in new plants. The process of growth of a baby plant from seeds is called as germination. The baby plant is known as seedling. For a healthy growth of new plants, it is important that its seeds are scattered far and wide. Seeds are scattered with the help of wind, water, animals and explosion of fruits. Winds, water and animals are called as the agents of dispersal. Wind dispersal. Small and light seeds are scattered by wind. Dandelion and cotton seeds are scattered through wind. Water dispersal. Seeds of plants that grow near flowing water are usually dispersed by water. Their fruits and seeds can float on water. Example, coconut, which has air trapped in between its husk, which makes it light and easy to float. Animal dispersal. We eat fruits like mango, papaya, etc. and throw away seeds. This is one way of dispersing seeds. Birds eat seeds along with the fruits like guava. The seeds of such fruits are hard and are excreted out from body as waste. This is also dispersal of seeds. Some seeds have hair, spines or hooks on it. Such seeds stick to our clothes or animal bodies and are scattered. Explosion of fruit. Fruits of plants like geranium, peanut and touch me not burst open or explode and disperses the seeds. Crops are grown in the field to provide food and other useful things to us. Some of these are food crops such as maize, rice or wheat, fiber crops such as jute or hemp, oil producing crops like peanut, mustard and linseed. Different crops grow under different conditions. In India, we have two crop seasons, summer crops also called as kharif crops and winter crops also called as rabi crops. Rice. Maize, Jowar, Peanuts are few examples of Kharif crops. Some Kharif vegetables are Onion, Pumpkin, Tomato, Garlic, etc. Some Kharif fruits are Mango, Melon, 
litchi, plum, etc. Similarly, wheat, barley, gram are rabi crops. Cauliflower, carrot, radish, peas are examples of rabi vegetables. Apple, banana, pomegranate are rabi fruits. To grow healthy crops and get good yields from them, farmers have to keep following things in mind. Number one, soil should be suited to the kind of crop grown and should be well prepared for planting. Second, manure and fertilizer should be added to the soil to make it fertile. Third, good quality should, uh, seeds should be sown. Fourth, crops should be given the right amount of water at right time. Fifth, crops should be protected against diseases, insects, birds and small rodents by use of insecticides and pesticides. Grass eating animals such as cow, buffalo should not be allowed to enter the field and field should be properly fenced. 7. Unwanted plants or weeds compete with the crops for nutrition and should be removed. 8. The harvested crop should be protected from moisture, insect and small animals. Hence, they should be stored in a dry place or airtight container. Friends, that's all about plant life. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. All the best.